Steve, and today it's time for another video. So, uh, going with our last video, we were talking about Micron features, and we talked about your lateral grip page. Well, today we're going to talk about predictive lap timing. Predictive lap timing? Did someone say predictive lap timing? <laughs> That's right, boys. Predictive lap timing. All right. Now, some of you have heard of predictive lap timing, some of you haven't. So let's kind of talk about what it is and how it can help you. Because racing is a game of information. The more information, more accurate information you have, the better decisions you make. And the better decisions you make, the faster you go. So let's talk about predictive lap timing, okay? What is predictive lap timing? Well, basically, what your Micron does um, is it takes the best lap of a run. Let's say you're in a race and your best lap was lap seven, okay? Well, after lap seven, it will, it will judge every lap you do compared to that one lap. So, if you are faster, let's say you go past the start and finish line and you hit on, in, on into turn one, and you are faster by a tenth of a second, then your Micron will shine a green LED showing you that you're faster. Well, let's say you come out of turn two and you get too high and you slip and slide and you slow down by two tenths, well then your uh, Micron is gonna show a red LED, okay? So it will help the driver, it gives the driver instantaneous information on where to drive and where not to drive on the racetrack. I need your cooperation, I need it now. If your driver is in the draft trying to catch the front two go-karts, he will be able to see immediately, hey, following this go-kart, I'm picking up time. Or, I'm behind this go-kart and it's slowing down. It shows ready LED, I have to pass him. He's not the one I need to draft with, okay? So let's talk about kind of a little bit about how it works. Um, not so much the, 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 the nuts and bolts or meat and potatoes, but but a, a brief understanding, so when you're on the racetrack, you know what to look for. So, on your Micron 5s, it will do every tenth. So, that means that if you run a lap that's two tenths faster, or if, if you're on a lap and you go through the turn and you're two tenths faster than, than your, your previous fastest lap, it will show two, grill, uh, two green LED lights. Okay, if you happen to slip going into turn three and you slow down by a tenth, it will show one red LED. So it will measure it by tenths. If you're four tenths faster, you'll see four green LEDs. If you're three tenths slower, it will show three red LEDs. Okay, the only difference between your Micron 5 and your 5S is your 5S will do it in half a uh, tenth. It will do it every five hundredths of a second. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Dave, you know, that sounds like a great feature, but how do we turn that on? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh, the good news is, if you've had any uh, Micron update or a setup from Cart Speed, it's already been done for you. But this is how you turn it on. If you decide you want to either turn it on or turn it off, um, what you're going to do is, you know what? Let's get a visual, okay? <laughs> Boom! All right, come on. Boom! <laughs> Third time's charm. Here we go. Boom! All right, there we go. Okay, all right. So, this is your home screen in your Micron. You're going to go to the upper left right hand, hand button, button, which is your menu button. You're going to push that. All right, next picture. Boom! Then, once you're in to your menu, you're going to go to the second icon, which is your wrench icon. That is your system setup. Go into that. Then, once you're in the system setup, you're going to go to the first icon on the second row, which is which is labeled LED. You go into that, and then you're going to have two options to pick from. LED alarms and LED bar. We want to go into the LED bar, okay? Now, you can choose for either shift light functions or predictive lap timing. I feel like in dirt oval kart racing, predictive lap timing is way more useful than, than shift lights. Then, um, you're going to go down to LED value, and you're going to set it to, um, if it's a 5S, a half a tenth, or if it's a 5, a tenth. 
Now you could set it higher, either one tenth, two tenths, or three tenths, but I recommend setting it at the lowest possible value. Reason being is because in a lot of your big races, you'll find that the top five is only separated by a few thousandths of a second. So I want to give my driver um, the most information I can to help him squeeze every hundreds and thousands out of that go kart as possible. Guys, you know, racing is a, again a game of information. All right, you want to make sure your driver gets accurate and useful information. Okay, because racing is hard, and you don't want to leave no speed in the trailer. Until next time, guys, be good.